Fighting. So Jake Paul had a fight with Ben Askren. And from the get-go, I was saying there's just no way in hell that Ben Askren beats Jake Paul. First of all, I saw I saw Ben Askren on the pads. Even when he looked good, apparently, I was still like, this isn't there's nothing there. You can just tell when it comes to striking that he's new to it. So I was already in in the mindset that there is no way in hell that, that Ben Askren's gonna beat Jake Paul. I just I just didn't believe it. Like we can all say we hate Jake Paul and everything, but he was not gonna lose. But before we get into anything, we have to we have to watch the knockout. All right, we'll watch the like the last six seconds. I mean, just if you, it's just it's just clean. It is just clean. Like he just hit him, he hit him when uh, he hit him when his hands were down. Simple as that. It was clean. I knew that Ben was not gonna win. And then I go on Twitter because I see myself trending. And uh, everyone's literally just saying that I'm Jake Paul's toughest opponent. So obviously we had to put in consideration that we were wearing head guards. I mean it was 12 ounce gloves, but we were wearing head guards. But realistically, even if there were no head guards, I'm telling you for a fact, I would not go down. Literally, when I'm sparring or whatever, I'm just, I'm not gonna go down. I refuse to go down. I will, n n I can't. So the fact that I am statistically Jake Paul's toughest opponent feels kind of good. Because, uh, you know, really, we have to be honest. Jake Paul beats, I know he's retired, but still, he beats a UFC fighter. This man is used to getting hit with four ounce gloves. Or two ounce gloves. He's get, he's used to getting knee in the face, elbow, all sorts, ground and pound. He had to come accustomed to that. So the fact that Jake Paul could knock him out with ten ounce gloves, cleanly, that alone should just tell you the power that Jake Paul has. But yeah, you can hate Jake Paul, but realistically, he did well. There are a lot of people who are saying that he's trash. Well, you go fight him. And let's see what happens. Realistically, you you won't win. You have to give him props. Yeah, he's a, he's a complete douchebag and a prick. Yeah, but, that, but that's just him. That's his personality. That's just how he's always going to be. There's nothing, nothing to it. Like, that's just how he is. And you have to respect it. Like... He's a douchebag and he knows he's a douchebag, so respect it. Boxing is not easy. Boxing is not easy. So I I have to put I have to take my hat off to him, honestly.